All right, today we're gonna to show you our new face scanner. Uh, we just got this in yesterday. Uh, we're really excited about it. We're, we've actually did a, we tried it out yesterday and uh, today we're just gonna run through it one more time. And uh, so we're gonna show you the setup, how we capture the scan. And then after that, I'm gonna show you the, uh, the setup in ExoCAD where you can see the face scan where we marry that up to our intraoral scans. Uh, our intraoral scans were done with a with a prime scan, but I'm sure it would be the same with the trios or any other of the major major face scanners. So Austin's gonna set up the software. I'm going to get in position. We do we did find that drying the teeth is best. We we used powder with and without powder. It was basically equivalent. And so we're gonna show you. Uh, sh well, I'll fir first let me show you. So you have we have the face scanner. And then there's a, a box right here, the Shining 3D bo box. Uh, this is the single cable to the scanner, and then it has a power cable and then a USB cable coming out of this box. And there's a power inverter box there. We just keep this in our little basket in our the cart where we keep our computer for this. And then, so I'm just gonna get myself in position. I'll draw my teeth when he's ready and then uh, Erwin Austin's ready, and All right. we'll go from there. Yeah, and one thing we wanted to show you too was our mounting system. We use this monopod. It's from SIRUI. You can purchase it online. We use it a lot around the office, but it seems to work good for this facial yeah. scanner as well. Yeah, you can get that off of uh, b &H Photo, or I think I got this one off of Amazon. And then I do like this little uh, kind of like um, con this connector. These are generic connectors uh, that I got like this so you just want to pop it onto the pop it into position like that uh, you can pretty quickly remove it and place it back we have different adapters for phones and things to sit on this monopod all right so and this also allows us to position the face pretty easily you can see we've got um, dr jonathan bullard pulled up here on the screen we've indicated a facial scan and we're going to proceed to the scanning stage so we've got the viewfinder uh, frame here, and we can position the, the face within this green window, and you'll notice here it says suitable for the position. Uh, we're gonna have uh, Dr. Bullard look straight at the camera, and then he's gonna turn his head about 45 degrees to the left, and come back to center, and then turn 45 degrees to the right, and again back to center. And that motion should take about 10 seconds altogether. And we'll show you that here. So, uh, Dr. Bowler, we're going to go ahead and start scanning now. Look straight and look to your left. All right, and back to center and to your right and back to center. All right, and then we're going to finish our scan. fairly quick process there compared to some other facial scanners on the market. Yeah, I like, I like how this one, we, um, you have the option to hold it in your hand, but I, I do like that it seems to be pretty accurate when we, uh, when we leave it in, in place the way that it is right now. All right, and you can see we've got our preview there available. You can see and make sure we've got, uh, for us, it's very important to have the ears really well captured, uh, the eyes looking straight forward, and, of course, the teeth uh, very detailed. Um, we'll pull it into ExoCAD and show you the wireframe. All right, perfect. Thank you. For this portion of the video, we're going to show you the alignment of the face scan to the intraoral scans. In this case, the intraoral scans are exported from CEREC, a scan with a prime scan. And you can see Austin here using best fit matching uh, to align the, the upper front teeth of the scan of my face or my, and my teeth uh, to the intraoral scans. And you can see here that 
that we do get a nice alignment and you'll see him bring the arches into the face scan some great alignment there and then at the end here you'll see he's going to zoom in so that we can see the see the mesh close up that, that was my my highest area of interest uh, you know what we, we like to make sure we have the eyes I like to have the eyes open so we can see the pupils mm -hmm. I like to see the ears uh, to help with the alignment with the a la tragus mm -hmm. uh, and of course we want a clear scan of enough tooth structure mm -hmm. that we can predictably align our face scan to our intraoral scan mm -hmm. so this is again we just received this uh, face scanner mm -hmm. and we've been impressed with it as far as uh, so far mm -hmm. we're looking forward to using it more uh, but it certainly looks promising. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you.